Hello everyone, welcome to technology. In this video, we're gonna have a look at all the new smartphone camera technologies that's coming up later on in this year. Let's get started. Mobile World Congress that happens in Barcelona during this time of the year is a place where we get to see all the new technologies and innovations around the smartphone industry. Though this year a lot of emphasis was on the display aspect of the mobile phones, there was considerable amount of innovation that happened in the cameras also. So let's get started and see what are all the new things that the smartphone manufacturers introduced into their cameras. To begin with, let's have a look at a couple of disappointments that we got to see in MWC. First is Nokia. Though this was a comeback year for Nokia, we didn't get to see any groundbreaking stuff especially with regard to the camera. Nokia did release Nokia 3 and Nokia 5 which are more of like an entry level or a mid level smartphone rather than a flagship. Nokia also reintroduced the 3310 but that's not a phone which you expect to have a very good camera in it. Next up was a Motorola 5 and G5 Plus that they introduced in MWC this year. There was nothing new when it comes to either the features or the autofocus. So even from the Motorola side, it was a pretty much a dull presentation. Now let's move on to see which are the phones which actually made the headlines in MWC this year. Firstly, Huawei P10. The Huawei P10 is equipped with dual camera. One, a 20 megapixel monochrome sensor and another, a 12 megapixel RGB sensor, both with f2.2 aperture and phase detect autofocus. The best thing about the Huawei camera is that it comes with Leica optics that renders natural bokeh and an exceptional Leica image quality. Huawei also promises very good black and white images thanks to its dedicated monochrome sensor in the smartphone. Next up is the Sony. Sony launched XZ Premium which is a 19 megapixel f2.0 electronically image stabilized camera with a face detect and laser autofocus built into it. What they highlighted was a motion eye camera which is very helpful for predictive capture. The highlight of the smartphone is the 960 frames per second super slow motion capture which is first for any smartphone. And also this is the first smartphone to have a 4K HDR display built into it. Next is the LG G6. The LG G6 was one of the first smartphones to be released in MWC 2017. One of the unique things about the smartphone was the display. It has an 18 to 9 aspect ratio and moving over to the camera, it has a dual 13 megapixel f1.8 camera, one for normal and one for a wide angle view. It has a dedicated 3 axis optical image stabilization and it comes with laser autofocus. LG G6 comes with what is known as square camera which has a lot of inbuilt feature like match shot, grid shot and glide shot. Inarguably, the highlight feature of the G6 has to be the wide angle field of view, option available both in the rear as well as the front camera. Finally, we have Oppo. Oppo released a concept smartphone which has something called as dual camera zoom. The dual camera zoom comes with a 5x zoom and this is achieved by using a periscope style camera sensor arrangement. Oppo claims that even at 5x zoom, the users can get exceptional image quality. Also, Oppo claims that there is a 40% increase in the digital stability using this particular concept. Having seen that, uh, you might have noticed that we missed the names like Apple, Samsung, Google and even OnePlus. These are the guys who make their announcement uh, about their flagship phones later on in the year. But Samsung has already given a clue that they will be making their announcement probably by end of next month. And that's where we are going to see what are all the new things that's coming in the Samsung S8 and S8 Plus uh, smartphone camera. Hope you liked what you just saw and if you'd like to see more of such videos, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to share these videos with your friends. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.